Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the percentiles of ungrouped data. Last time, we had a time video with regards to the quartile and deciles of ungrouped data. And if you can still remember, quick reveal and tayo. When you say quartiles, these are values that divides a given set of data into four equal parts. Again, four equal parts. Now, for the decile naman, these are values that divides the given set of data into 10 equal parts. So for this video, the target natin is to define and to solve a problem with regards to the percentile of ungrouped data. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So when we define percentile, percentiles are values. Again, these are values that separates a set of data into 100 equal parts. Again, into 100 equal parts. So we can use P sub 1, P sub 2, again, P sub 1, P sub 2. Ito yung mga percentiles natin. Percentile 1, percentile 2, percentile 3, percentile 4, and percentile 99. Sila yung mga values natin na hinahati yung ating given set of data into 100 equal parts. And sir, uh, here's a clarification. Kailangan ba yung ating set of values or yung ating given data set ay merong 100 elements? Hindi naman necessary. So, let's say for example ito. Find the 30th. Again, find the 30th percentile of the following set of data. So as you can see, pag binilang mo to, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Hindi siya 100 pieces or 100 elements. So hindi niya kailangan isipin na ganun niya. Again, let's read the problem. Find the 30th percentile of the following set of data. We have 45, 38, um, 35, 29, 54, 54, 43, 42, and 38. So pag sinabing 30th percentile, ang pinapanap sa atin ay si P sub 30 or percentile 30. Ngayon sir, what is the formula in solving the percentile? The formula is simply, simply this one. P sub K is equal to K over 100. You will divide K by 100 kasi this is percentile times n plus 1 th. So, bakit may th dyan? Kasi, ang hinahanap muna natin ay position, not the exact value. Position muna ang hanapin natin. So, sir, what is the first step in solving the 30th percentile or P sub 30? First thing you need to do, guys, is to arrange, again, arrange the given data in ascending order. Sir, ano pong ibig sabihin ng ascending order? From least to greatest. Or in other words, mula sa pinakamababa, papunta sa pinakamataas na value nito mga data na to. So, try natin i-arrange muna. So, we have these numbers. The smallest one is 29, right? So, you have to choose 29. Again, 29. Next. So, kung ano natin to, lagyan natin ng underline. Para matandaan natin, uh, naayos natin siya. 29. Sunod natin is 35. 35, underline, and then followed by 38 and 38, dilawa, 38 and 38. Tapos, we have this 42. 42, 43. And then, we have the number 45. Tapos, meron din tayong 45, 54 and 54, 54 and 54. So, mula 29 54, ascending order. So, sir, how to use this formula? Okay, again, uh, we're trying to calculate for P sub 30. P sub 30. Ibig sabihin, your K is equal to 30. Tapos yung value ng N is equal to the number of elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, meron tayong 9. So, yan. All you need to do is substitute this value to the given formula. So, you have P sub 30 is equal to 
your k which is 30 over 100 times 9 plus 1. Sir, why 9 plus 1? Because sir, n is equal to 9. And then th. So simplify natin sa loob ng parenthesis. You have p sub 30 is equal to 30 times, this is 10, over 100. So knowing that 30 times 10 is 300, so you have p sub 30 is equal to 300 over 100. So, th tayo dito. And then, ibig sabihin ito, ang ating p sub 30 is 300 divided by 100 is 3. Sir, yung 3 po bang yan, yan yung mismo uh, 30th percentile natin? No. As you can see, meron tayo itong th. Ah, sorry. Uh, kung th siya, uh, kung 3 siya, hindi yan th siya, third dapat. Yan. Ibig sabihin yan, guys, um, Yung ating percentile 30 ay manilocate natin, siya ay yung pang third o yung pangatlo sa mga elements na inayos mo in ascending order. Again, in ascending order. So you have first, again, 300 over 100, na-clarify ko lang, 300 over 100 is 3. Tapos since hanap natin yung position, so kaya siya naging third. Okay? So using this information na pangatlo or third yung position niya, ng ating 30th percentile, hanapin nyo lang dito sa in-arrange nyo. First, second, and third. Ibig sabihin, P sub 30 is equal to 38. Ati yung 38th percentile, ay uh, 30th percentile is equal to 38. So, I hope na sa ating nag-iisang example, you already know or you already understand how to calculate for the percentile of ungrouped data. Ganun lang kadali kasi hindi nyo kailangan pahirapan ng sarili nyo para matuto sa mathematics. So, I hope na natuto kayo and if you have any question or any suggested topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!